is believing in God reasonable? Obviously, to this question, the atheist has to say no. Because if he were to say yes, then the next obvious question would be, why doesn't he believe in God? So ultimately, the atheist has to hold to the position that it's not even reasonable to believe in God. Otherwise, he would surely believe in God. Because, of course, if it's reasonable to believe in God, then it follows logically that one should believe in God. But if the atheist is going to hold to the position that it's not even reasonable to believe in God, then he must have some justification for that, since it is a positive claim. So it would seem that the burden of evidence is also on the atheist as well. Now let's talk about why it is reasonable to believe in God. For starters, based on the best scientific evidence that we have, we know the universe had a beginning. So then that would mean the universe had a cause. And this cause would have to be timeless, spaceless, and immaterial. Because whatever created time, space, and matter could not be made of time, space, and matter. And this cause would also have to be extremely powerful and personable in order to decide to create life. All of these attributes are usually what people think of when they think of God. And then there's also the moral evidence for God. Philosophers are always discussing the problem of evil. But the truth is, in order for evil to exist, there has to be a moral standard. Because we couldn't even recognize evil unless there was, in fact, a moral standard. So the fact that we can recognize evil indicates that there is a moral law. So therefore, there must be a moral law giver. Based on just these two arguments alone, it is safe to conclude that it is reasonable to believe in God. So then what's the other option? The other option would be to hold to the view that nothing created everything, which apparently some atheists hold to. However, we don't have any evidence of nothing creating anything. Nothing is non-being. It's the absence of anything. So it would seem it's illogical to think that nothing could create anything. Unless you're Lawrence Krauss and you redefine nothing as actually being something, which is intellectually dishonest, since a quantum vacuum most certainly is something. So you tell me, my friends, is it more reasonable to believe that God created everything or that nothing created everything? Both positions require faith. The difference is one is faith based on evidence, whereas the other is blind faith. Can you guess which one? Please let me know what you guys think in the comments. And I do thank you so much for listening. And please feel free to like and subscribe.